where the Spirit of the Lord says there'll be a social uprising in America. The Canadians, the truckers, the honkers, the ones that honk their horn are the ones that are declaring freedom over America. They are the ones that are the true freedom fighters of this nation. The Spirit of the Lord says, do not be afraid. You put your faith more in fear than you do in the Lord, your God, Jesus Christ. For have peace. Be peaceful on earth. Have the peace of the Lord. For Jesus came to give peace to the world, for he is your Savior, the love of your life. Serve me, only me. Do not give fear to men of this world or the wicked. Give glory to God in this time, in this hour. Renounce wicked and evil doers. Renounce them. For God is your Lord, your Savior, your rock and your salvation. Do not be afraid. The Spirit of the Lord says, Why do you fight to what mere men do to you? Why do you glorify it, justify, hide behind what you're doing? Why do you hide your faith under a rock? You hide your faith under a rock. Why are you afraid of me? Why are you afraid of the blessings that I could give to your life? When everyone just spouts hatred and fear, the media, the news. And in this time, in this hour, it is a time of true peacefulness. In your Christ Jesus. For, for I love my children of America, Australia, Canada, China. These are the people that truly serve and love me with whole, their whole heart. Do not doubt for a second that America cannot change. Do not doubt for a second that America cannot change. But America will change for the good, not for the bad. The Constitution wrote the history for America and how each and every wicked player would be put out. Because they will be spit out. They will be spit out, the Lord says. Spit out. I will spit them back into the pit of what they came from. The Spirit of the Lord says, do not give up your faith, your hope in me that I will not that I will restore a country. I will restore each and every nation, but it starts first with America because they are the leader of the free world. And when your president 45 comes back in office, you will see true victories begin to happen. The election will turn over from 2020. 2020 has yet to be reckoned with. For the Spirit of the Lord says, Keep your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not give up hope. Do not give up your freedom for the wicked. Stand upon the rock in which you declare the Holy Spirit. Stand. Stand. The Lord says, stand. For true victories are taking place. True and true and true victories. Just victories. Things that you would never think would happen, but it's only my plan. For the wicked shall perish in the White House. Come to the funeral parlor in America. The caskets are being sought out. There are already people that are dying you not know of, wicked people, but they will not report it in the news. They will not report this until they are, their, they are at their wit's end. And they are being threatened. They won't report it unless their lives are un, at stake and America is at stake, then they will report it. But the many coming months are going to be some of the best and truest.
true victories that America's ever seen in history will be go will go down into the history books of America. It will go down in history and you will see it come to pass in this nation, in this world, in a congregation of churches, people giving their life to Christ, stopping in the streets and weeping, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, please save us. For faith comes out of true desperation, and victory comes out of desperation and prayer. Keep fasting, praying, seeking the Lord and what he will do, and I will restore your America. I will restore it. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.